Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you will have seen my Instagram, you'll notice that uh, I've had a cold the last few days, which has been incredibly frustrating. I've been boshing these back quite often. Um, just trying to get well again. I've probably had the last two and a half days completely off, which is really, really annoying me because I was actually at the beginning of this week, so it's Sunday now, I was getting into a really, really good routine with training, feeling amazing, uh, well, feeling somewhat amazing, feeling better, and uh, and now I've been hit by a bloody cold, which is like, mm, really annoying me. Basically, Lydia gave me a cold, didn't you? Uh, well, didn't I you? tried to. Didn't you? I didn't try to. Didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Horrible woman. Uh, so yeah, Maybe Lydia. you gave it to me. No, because you had it before me. Did I know? Yeah. Did I know? Well, I'm going to say that's what happened. Yeah. Um, so yeah, still feeling a little bit rough, but feeling a lot better than I was. So I'm going to get out on the bike today, keep it nice and chilled because it's nice weather out there. Um, but yeah, obviously like super frustrating to feel ill and have a few days off, but I uh, just need to be sensible with it. Um, I think there's a lot of, a lot of, people catching colds at the minute. Seems to be that time of year. I wanted to show you guys in this video my new uh, bike position or the new bit of equipment that I've been talking about on my bike. And I think it's gonna really help with um, with just overall comfort on the bike, aerodynamics, and just feeling a lot better. So I may as well show you now. So here we are. These are the Drag 2.0 poles um, and it's definitely changed the look of my bike. Now, we'll go through the reason why I went for these. Um, my position has been feeling quite cramped and I've been using these poles. These are the poles that come with the bike. And actually the 51 Speed Shop stuff is really, really good quality. I'm not slagging them off at all, but if we compare them, so let's have a look, we compare them. That's at full extension there, same position. And it's like a good, hang on, it's a good, I don't know, was that eight inches? <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's a good few inches shorter. Um, I was really struggling with those, those 51 speed shot poles because I didn't feel like my arms would, uh, would go out as far as I wanted them to. And I was kind of cramping over the end of the poles, holding them like that. And it just didn't feel super sturdy, but it didn't feel very comfortable either and very controlled and I just felt like my elbows were a little bit too close to me and I was a bit cramped in my chest and I definitely noticed that over the longer distance. So in Wales, I found that the longer I was on the bike, the more kind of uncomfortable I got. Now I know obviously riding a TT bike, it's never gonna be like sitting on the sofa, although that would be dreamy, but I wanted to make it a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more sustainable. These are the high rise poles. I don't have any wedges underneath them because Argon have a very clever section here where you can uh, tilt the whole cockpit area so it's really really smart and i've gone for the ergo uh, not the ergo grips i've gone for the straight grips on my trinity i did have the exact same poles but i went for the ergo grips i wanted to go for the straight grips just to see what they're like and i'm actually really enjoying riding with those um it's making my hands come in a little bit closer together which is really nice and i've got the 76 project TT Garmin mount there, which is just like a really nice bit of kit basically. So these are as far forward as they can go. I actually really like these 51 Speed Shop cups. They come with a bike as well. It's just a hard plastic, but the foam here is like really, really nice, like memory foam. It's super, super comfy. They're quite wide, they're quite long, um, and they're just really nice. So I've bumped these forward and it seems to be working really really nicely I was waiting for drag to zero to release their new extensions the ones that you see on like for example andy horseful turner's bike um they look really really nice and i was kind of waiting for them to release those but uh they were taking quite a while so i decided to bite the bullet and just buy these ones for the meantime and get the position correct and the way i want it it's not like my position was bad it just felt a little bit cramped. And I'll, I'll put some footage over the screen now of what it looked like because it did just look like the front end was a little bit too short for me. And I just want to play around with this. Um, and the, just the looks of the bike, the aesthetics looks a lot better. I know I know that's not what you should be, should be looking for. It doesn't matter at all. It's whatever fits you. But I did feel like I was just 
a little bit cramped on this thing. And so I've been testing that out. I'm gonna go out today, test it out a little bit more, and then we're gonna put it on the turbo later. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys specifically what it looks like compared to the old position, run through a few different positions on it, and just show you guys what it looks like. But I'm really happy with the buying these extensions. And um, I think they're gonna completely change like the feel of the bike and uh, the comfort, which is, which is ideal. So many questions whenever I show the cockpit of this bike about this bottle cage and how, or how I mount it to the cockpit. Um, <laughs> honestly, if you don't have this bike, you're not able to do this basically. Or other bike manufacturers might have a similar sort of thing. I know the Cervelo P5 has something similar, but Argon have created this really clever mount that sits here, that um, bolts into this plate, and then you can slot on um, a bottle mount. Super, super clever, but I know a lot of people out there have asked about a Giant Trinity one or whatnot. Um, there isn't one specifically for the Giant Trinity. There might be a third party one that X-Lab might do, but otherwise you're just gonna have to basically uh, zip tie one on. That's what I used to do when I had the Trinity, I just zip tied a bottle cage on. But this one, honestly, Argon, whoever thought of this idea at your company, it's a banging idea. Also been sent some awesome bits of, uh, Flint chewed that box, so that was nice of him. Um, I've been sent some really nice bits of Castelli, like transitional gear, so uh, for sort of autumn and beginning of winter, um, by Saddleback, which is uh, very much appreciated because there's some awesome stuff in here, which I'll be wearing over my rides in the next few weeks and months. Uh, and I think I'll be testing some stuff out today. This might be a new favorite jersey. Just got back from the ride, really nice, like three and a bit hour ride up on the moors. Um, really, really nice weather today. So didn't get much use out of like gilet arm warmers, but absolutely love this jersey. So, so nice. And these bib shorts, like just so, so comfy, great fit. Uh, this Castelli stuff is lovely, and I'm an absolute sucker for this colour. I think it looks really, really nice. And the position on the bike, like, yeah, starting to get really, really used to it. And just having that ability to, like, stretch out. Honestly, I spent most of the time bar climbing and obviously, you know, technical descents in position and felt really, really good. And I think it's like a telltale sign that the position is decent because the speed is, is really good. Obviously, you can argue, like, depends on the power output, depends on the wind, depends on the terrain climbing elevation etc etc however it was a pretty easy ride power wise nothing too crazy there uh was rolling so um wasn't like super super flat by any means because i went up onto exmoor and there was quite a bit of wind but i would say a good mix because i did a loop it was a good mix of headwind crosswind tailwind and nearly averaged like 20 miles an hour for uh like 60 odd 65 miles maybe and felt like felt so good so um probably from having a few days off as well like feeling a lot better but uh it was an easy ride and the position felt fantastic so it's kind of a telltale sign the position's good but hey um it's not you know uh, it's not it's not like um solid evidence but i would say it's pretty good uh so yeah i'm gonna get on the turbo and actually show you guys what it you know what it looks like because i've not actually gone into depth of like footage and seen what it looks like i've just gone by feel um i haven't changed anything with regards to saddle height forward backward um anything of all i've changed is these poles and move these like a centimeter further forward that is it and i think it's gonna look quite different um because these come up now the ends of these poles come up higher than the saddle as you can see Whereas before they were like down here. And I think just having your hands a little bit higher up. Anyway, we'll, we'll have a little look later on. We'll see what it looks like. Immediately, like starting riding in this position, I've noticed that I'm able to sink in quite a bit more because my elbows are further forward and it's freed up a bit of space here that my chest and my head can sink into. What's also really nice is that because these poles are like a couple of inches longer, I've actually, and they're a little bit higher as well. I can then sink my head sort of behind my hands, and that's almost the idea with this position. Is like Andy uh, from BW mentioned when I had uh, the, the original bike fit on this bike is like you want to create this egg shape at the front of your bike, almost like the front of an aeroplane. 
and so all the wind uh, goes past your hands and your head almost at the same point. You'll see some people, and it works for them, they'll have their hands quite low and their head sort of around here, but then there's two points of contact for the wind, whereas what I want to do is create this one point of contact, which is hands and head all in one, and so the wind goes around my hands, my head, everything, and it looks quite smooth. Um, Obviously, it's not about looks. It's about actually aerodynamics and feeling comfortable. A little bit about looks. But Instagram is important. <laughs> uh, so... Like the new jersey. Yeah, exactly. I've got some photos from the side of my old position, and I'll just compare them now. I have no idea what this position looks like, I'll be totally honest. Um, but this is from today. Like I rode like three and a bit hours on this bike. And this was like the kind of main position I'll be in. I'm not getting any back pain. So I've been out on the ride for, yeah, it was like 100K ride. No back pain whatsoever. That's partly down to the exercises that I'm doing, but also I feel like down to this position as well. Um, and so um, I would say, you know, my main like racing position will probably be something like, probably something like this, which is very relaxed. I can push into it like that, but also when I'm going slightly slower, like going up a climb or something, you know, you can stay in this sort of position. Um, yeah, and I think it's important to have those like variety of positions and know exactly when on the course to be in those positions. A lot of people they'll post on Instagram, and I've been <laughs> been guilty of this before, is just being in the most aggressive position possible for a photo on Instagram. It looks fantastic, but. I'd argue most people could hold the position they've got on Instagram for about 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, which looks brilliant, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, it's about finding the right position for you. But, um, yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. I can put good power out on this. Like, I had a few sections today where I ramped up to 70.3 power, held Ironman power for a little bit. Felt really, really consistent. Felt really strong. Feel like I've got good space to breathe. And I feel like with an aero helmet on, it will just sit in really nicely. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this position. So I'm gonna keep testing it over the next few weeks. See how things go. But I feel like this is exactly where I wanna be right now. And I think things are moving in the right direction. Please don't take from this video that you need to change your position and get more aerodynamic and make a more aggressive position because you really don't. Um, and I've only changed this because I just wanted to feel more comfortable ultimately. And if it makes me more aerodynamic, that's a benefit. But ultimately these other things are more of a priority. And I'm just really enjoying the fact that I've got longer poles here. So it's just, it's so much more comfortable. Um, and it just feels a lot better. Look, I am no bike fitter. I don't claim to be. So please don't take um, too much, I guess, influence from this from this video. <laughs> um, I just want to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. But if you're looking to get uh, a bike fit or get more comfortable on the bike, more aerodynamic on the bike, all these things are important. Go and see a specialist um, and go and see guys that actually are qualified and know what they're doing. Although you don't have to have qualifications to be a bike fitter. That's what confuses me. I could literally be a bike fitter, but I'm not, and I'm not going to pretend to be. Um, so yeah, go and see people like, go check out BW Cycling, they offer really good bike fits uh, in the link in the description below. They really know what they're talking about. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm very much enjoying this new kit and enjoying this new position on the bike, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.